Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I will be talking to you about this referee form. But before I start, I just want to say that I have created a mini series here about my step-by-step -step application for British citizenship here in the UK. So far I have made three videos. Video one is about my British citizenship application timeline or the processing time. And then the second one is about how to apply for British citizenship online, where I showed you the form to fill in and how to fill them up. And the third one is the documents that I have submitted to UK VCAS to support my application. I hope that you can check out all those videos as well. And if you would like to get notified on the next videos relating to this mini series i hope that you can click um, the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on those videos right so let's start so for british citizenship application we will need two referees who will confirm our identity first referee is a person of any nationality who has professional standing the government website has provided this list of professional standing and I will show it to you here. This is the most accurate list that I could find um, in the web. I always refer to the government website to make sure that I have the updated list and the most accurate one. So you can refer to this list um, for your first referee. So for your second referee, they must normally be the holder of a British citizenship passport and they could either be a professional person or over the age of 25. For child applicant, the first referee is, should be a professional who has engaged with the child in a professional capacity, such as a teacher, health visitor, social worker, or minister of religion. And for second referee for child applicant is the same for the adult applicant, which is normally be the holder of a British citizen passport and either a professional person or over the age of 25. I will also show here other specific requirements for the referees. These can also be found on the form itself, which the referees must not be a relative, must not be a solicitor or agent representing you on this application, must not be related to the other referee, must not be employed by the home office, must not have been convicted of an imprisonable offense during the last 10 years unless that conviction can be disregarded in line with the table shown in the guide and and they must have known the, the applicant personally and they must be willing to give full details of their knowledge of the applicant and they must advise the home office of any reason why the applicant should not be registered so those are specific requirements when choosing the referee. If you remember on my uh, second video where I showed the British citizenship form online, there is a section there for the referees. So when you already selected your referees, these are the information that they must freely provide to you to be able to complete that form. And these include the full name, their addresses for the last three years, their date of birth, their profession, their mobile number or phone number, their email address, and if they have British passport, their British passport number. And the last one is their relationship to you. You will need this information as input to the British citizenship application form online. During your online application, it will give you this form to print out. And this is called the Referees and Identity Form. It's a two-page form, which um, you will need to give to your referee to fill out. But before that, you will need to provide a photo to be put on here. There is a link here to show you the requirements on, on the rules for your photograph, which I will show you now. So this is the digital copy of the form and there is a link here on the rules for photos for passports. And if you read through this page, you will see the rules 
and some examples on what are approved and what are not approved. So it says here, don't smile, keep your mouth closed. Background should be plain rather than textured and rather than having a, an object in the background. There should be no fashion headwear or hair accessories. And um, there should be no shadow on the face and there shouldn't be any shadow behind the head. Right, so I had my photographs from the photo me photo booths in available in supermarkets like Sainsbury's or Tesco's so they are really good in um, giving you the acceptable passport photos I used to have four but I used the other two already on my application so this is how they look like once you've got your photo it says here passport photo on the back of the applicant's photograph please write their full name and date of birth the photograph should then be glued into the space aside. So now that you have a referee form and your photos, these are now ready to be handed over to your referees. But before that, if you notice at the back or at the second page at the declaration section, it says here that your referee must declare that I declare and confirm that to the best of my knowledge, the details of the applicant given in this application are correct and that my details as a referee given in this application are correct. It also says here that I understand that I could be fined up to £5,000 or go to prison for up to three months if I knowingly give false information. So it means that the referee must have a little look at your application to check that the details provided there are correct or accurate. So to, to, um, to resolve that, uh, if you remember during my uh, first video, I told you that after my online application, they will give you a PDF summary of all the information that you have provided during your application and that one you can print and I suggest that you print out that PDF and put it together with your referee form and photo and give it to your referee if they want to have a look at your application so it, it could be either handed over to him or whether you need to post it as well give a copy of your application form completed application so they can have a look and double check and then if they're happy with it, then they can proceed with a declaration and to complete this form. So now to demonstrate, I will act as uh, my referees to show you how to fill up the form and also to um, complete the back of the photo. So yeah, let's just have a look. So this is just an example of um, how to complete the photo. And it says here on the back of the applicant's photograph, please write the f their full name and date of birth. So let's say it's Jane Smith is the name of, ap of the applicant. And date of birth is 01 January um, 1990. So that should be enough. And then I've already completed the name of applicant, which is this one. And at the back, if I am the referee and my name is Samantha Lee, I'll just put my full name, my signature, and date, and the date I've signed it. So on scanning it, for my case, I follow the instruction and glued it here, and scan this page and also scan the second page so i have two pages for this um, declaration some people um, also to be able to show the back of the photo they will put it this way and scan it like that as well as put it this way and scan it like that so they will have two pages of the front page and also the third page is the back but for my case, as I've said, I've, I've just glued it and only submitted 
this page and the second page so but I didn't see any problem with that so yeah that's how I did it yeah so this is my actual referee form that I have submitted to the home office and this is the way I put it I glued the photo here and just scanned it like this and yeah it was accepted and I've done it to the two referee forms that I have So once you have the scanned copy of the two referee forms, you will have to upload it uh, to the UK VCAS website and you will see in my other video on the documents that I have uploaded on which section of that page you will have to upload the reference form or the referee declaration form. So yeah, I hope that this has given you an idea on how to resolve or sort out your reference or your referee declaration form. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you can click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified on my next video, which is about the biometric appointment. At the moment, I'm still waiting for my citizenship ceremony letter and um, I'm patiently waiting and hoping that it will come soon so I can share it with you and share the ceremony and you will have an idea on how it looks like. Um, I hope for the best on your application and thank you for watching.